The Tier V U.S. battleship, New York, possesses many of the same qualities of previous Tier U.S. battleships, mainly a small turning radius and accurate artillery. The New York can turn on a dime compared to the Japanese Tier V battleship, the Congo. The artillery weapons on the New York battleship have a shorter range than the Congo, but the New York shells are more accurate at long range. With a top speed of 21 knots, the New York cannot relocate quickly, requiring you to choose your path carefully. Skipping ahead a few minutes, we can see the New York take aim at an enemy cruiser. Although every shell misses the target, notice how tightly packed the salvo was. Noticing the incoming shells, the New York changes direction easily, watching most of them fly harmlessly past. The one shell that does hit does insignificant damage. Confirmed penetration. Rounding the island, the New York fires, sending 356mm shells ripping into the enemy battleship. Confident in the shell's trajectory, I look away and see what my anti-aircraft guns are shooting at. Swinging back to look, I see 10 shells crash through the enemy New York, dealing 18,779 damage. Firing at enemy targets, I cannot afford to fall behind the rest of my team. The large amount of torpedoes coming from these islands should serve as a warning, but the New York loves to fight, and so I turn south, engaging the first cruiser that I spot.
Keeping an eye on the enemy destroyer, I notice an enemy aircraft carrier while I am reversing direction. Doing a few quick calculations, the New York fires, sending multiple shells careening into the enemy carrier. Every voice in my head was screaming to get out of here, just as the enemy destroyer comes tearing out of the smoke cloud. I swing the ship around to face the target as the anti-aircraft guns open fire. Gunfire is erupting everywhere as aircraft are dropping out of the sky covered in flames, and then the torpedo alarms go off. The New York bites into the sea, struggling to turn towards the projectiles. Looking over the side of the ship, the crew can see the torpedoes tear past only meters from the ship. Without skipping a beat, the New York turns her guns and opens fire repeatedly. The first salvo deals 6,700 while the second collides for over 7,000. Crossing between two islands under the cover of a smoke screen, the New York spots an enemy aircraft carrier. Taking aim, her artillery send the 356mm projectiles hurtling through the air. This is a critical point, a point of no return. I think about turning around and re-approaching the battle. This would require me to turn my ship, which is no big deal, but it also requires turning my artillery, which is a long and drawn out process. I choose to instead maintain my current course and attempt to outmaneuver and flank the enemy fleet. Already committed to the turn, the New York is unable to correct her course with such a slow rudder shift time. The torpedo pings once and I begin to count a turn and come to a complete stop. The repair crews jump into action, putting out the flooding and beginning to repair the recent damage. Already turning, the New York braces as the next torpedoes come tearing in. Gaining speed and turning allows her to take the hit on her torpedo belt, preventing flooding, but she is still seriously wounded. 
With every possible crew member committed to flood prevention and repair, I know the _New York_ is in a vulnerable position indeed. I was so intent on punishing this cruiser that I did not initially notice the enemy destroyer. Firing my weapons, I am now defenseless for thirty five seconds as I reload. Then I notice the destroyer. This destroyer was no novice, however, and completely outplayed me. By approaching from close range and head on, the fewest time is given for me to attack. His heading also allows only two turrets on my ship to fire at him at once. I try to stay facing him to allow me the best time to react. His first salvo of torpedoes is wide, however the second comes bearing in right on target. Slowing to a complete stop and turning, the New York dances between the projectiles, instantly increasing back to full speed. Taking aim with the New York's big guns, I fire knowing that this shot determines whether I live or die. And I miss. The destroyer turns and closes, smelling blood. He or she continues to change direction during the approach, and at such a close distance, dodging is impossible. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, please click subscribe below.